This game is rated E10 for ages 10 and up. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, but you can call me KV, and welcome back to the Tears of the Kingdom logs. In the last log, we tried to do a race and we did very bad at it. Give me a moment. Wait, whoa, 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 what, what, oh, oh, okay, I guess, sure. I think we also solved the labyrinth on the surface, so now we're going to the labyrinth in the sky. Uh, that give me a moment was moving my mic to be in a better position, and then also I was going to check to make sure I was actually recording the right log. And I believe we are, so we'll have a repeat, like log 106. Shh, 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 shh. Anything else you did? Uh, I can't really. Uh, we fought a Molduga, I guess. That we did have a quest to destroy that specific Molduga. There was a shrine to do, but it was just a reward shrine for being the labyrinth. So, yeah, that's what we. I mean, I'd say that's all we did. But look, the race was hard. We didn't beat it yet. Well, we did. We didn't beat the like the the the, the fastest time. So uh, we'll have to reconcile that eventually. Just like we'll have to reconcile the fact that the wings do not last for that long. Like the wing is like the one Zai device I would say they probably showed the most in promotional materials, and it kind of sucks. Like yeah, I mean it still works just fine. But, like, in terms of durability, it's one of the worst. Like, I can't think of... I mean, rockets obviously give up after one use, but that makes sense. It's a rocket. It's gonna use up all its fuel and be done. But, like, I can't think of the, any other Zoni device that just kind of gives up on you after an amount of time. And if it does, which they're prob they probably do, but they're... Is it? This is a reward shrine. Okay. Unlit. What? This is a reward shrine? Got fire fruits here. Uh. Got got arrows. What? 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 What is that? What? Are all the reward shrines like this? I was paying attention. I mean, it didn't say Rara's Blessing, it said Unlit Blessing, but I mean, like, close enough. W wait, but this one... Oh, okay. Um... Now, you may be thinking, why did you do that? And my reasoning is... I thought it was, like, topsy-turvy space, and if I went over there, the camera would have shifted, and it would have become the regular reward shrine, like I thought it was. It is. Also, I knew this was coming up eventually, because I, I vividly remember when I encountered the shrine, I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> but I, wa I wanted to at least make it seem like I didn't know what was going on for a little bit. <laughs> Also, there's water constantly pouring on... I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and that will help me how... Oh. That's how. Thank you. Well. That was at least a twist. <laughs> you gotta pull out the paraglider sooner, my, my pal. I will say that, like, it's hard for me to, like, criticize the Tears of the Kingdom for doing it, because Breath of the Wild was very faulty for this, too. But knowing that we had a shrine like this one that kind of played with the, oh, is this a reward shrine type thing, I wish they did done more of that in this game as opposed to just getting a straight reward shrines. 
And I get the rationale for it. It's, well, you technically already solved a puzzle. It was getting to the shrine itself. And that's fair, but... I do wish that there were some more unique shrines that weren't just, oh, you got a reward. And it's not a unique thing to Tears of the Kingdom. I vividly remember finding even more reward shrines in Breath of the Wild, and I didn't like them then, so... <laughs> At the very least, because there's more shrines in this game, the ratio of reward shrines to not reward shrines is definitely lower. At least it feels that way to me. I think it just happens that a lot of the like major shrines that have the extra puzzles, we did much earlier in the game. And now that we're kind of getting to the end, we're... <laughs> turns out I didn't do a lot of the quests early on, so there's lots of reward shrines to pick up now. <laughs> But I did like that. I did like that turn of events, so... Should they ever come back to this gameplay style, which won't be for a long time, if ever, I would keep some reward trends in, because there's definitely some puzzles that I would say are deserving of them, but I would also change it up. So make stuff like that, like that shrine, where it, it, it gives off the appearance of, oh, this will be easy, and then, haha, no it's not. And better yet, don't even rename what the shrine title is, just trick people. <laughs> just straight up be like, nope, this is a reward shrine, immediately. Never mind, it's not. Just kidding. Alright, so now the new puzzle is to activate our four terminals in this here labyrinth, so that we can get access into the depths labyrinth. And given how long this log is by the video length, I don't know how long we're in this labyrinth, so let's see how past me does. First labyrinth we did, which was over in northern Hyrule, northeast, definitely took a while. But now that we've kind of mastered the low grav and the wind pushing us up. Hopefully this one won't be as bad, because the one we did over in the Hebra region didn't take that long to do. But this one's also a very interesting shape. It's two figure eights. Oh, great. Well, is it better than... No. Okay, bye. Also, it, at the time of this recording, Echoes of Wisdom is out. I have not played it yet, because, um, well, the story I went with when I posted a video today is that Master Koga stole it. But the real reasoning is that where I pre-ordered it from Best Buy, and Best Buy's been doing this weird thing, and it's like, I should probably just stop pre-ordering from Best Buy, especially because they're, they're like, oh, hey man, we're not gonna hold physical media in our stores anymore, which is like, that's, that's stupid. Because I've, I've been to a Best Buy that doesn't hold physical media in their stores anymore, and it's just like, you have so much empty space that you're not using. Like, this helped fill out your store to make it look like there was stuff here. But yeah, so what, what they have been doing is, because they've done this quite a few times now over the past few years, is that there will be a pre-order bonus with the game. And I'll be real... I don't care about that. It's just a freebie that they give you. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool. I don't really need this or want this. I would rather just get the game. But no, they, they're going to give you that. And for whatever reason, they don't bundle it with the game. So today I received the pre-order bonus and I get the game tomorrow. Which is just like, no. That's dumb. If you had the pre-order bonus already to give me, why can't you just give me the game? Like, wh what? <laughs> why are you doing that? I don't understand companies. And I'm gonna, and you know, maybe it's not them. Maybe Nintendo is like, oh, hey, you have to do it this way. But it's still extremely stupid. So if, if that's Nintendo's fault, then yeah. Thanks a lot, Nintendo. Don't, don't do that. Like, don't be advertising out here, hey, man, go get our new game. And it's like, cool. Well, most stores don't care phys carry physical media anymore, and I want to get a physical copy. And I pre-ordered a physical copy, but guess what? It doesn't arrive on release dates. So... 
I'm not gonna go buy a digital copy. That's silly. I only do that for Kirby games. <laughs> but even then, when I've pre-ordered Kirby games, those usually come on the day of release. It's literally everything else that doesn't come on the day of release. Princess Peach Showtime didn't come on day of release when I pre-ordered that. Pikmin 4 didn't come on release uh, when I pre-ordered that. Like, what? What? what's the deal? Did, did you pre-order all those from Best Buy? Yeah, I did. So may maybe, maybe the answer is just not Best Buy anymore. But then the only other option for me then is Target, because uh, I don't trust GameStop. Never have, never will. Uh... Especially after... Oh my gosh. So... Ten years ago now, and I feel so bad about this, uh, a friend of mine, who I haven't talked to in ages, I should really talk to him again, he's a really cool dude, uh, for my birthday, he gave me a GameStop gift card. And I was like, cool, you know what? I'm gonna go use this gift card, because he put $50 on it, and I was like, holy crap, that that's amazing, thank you. So I went to a GameStop near me, and at the time, Mario Kart 8 was releasing, and I figured might as well pick up Mario Kart 8, because it was the Wii U times, and that was the only major game that was coming out. And they also had the promotion of if you bought Mario Kart 8, you could then use that to get a, a essentially a free game digitally on the Wii U, and that's how I ended up playing Pikmin 3. But I go to the GameStop, so I'm going to use the gift card and then pay the rest of the money, because 50 obviously doesn't cover the entire game. Pass me, what are you doing? Yeah, I, that, that, I don't know what you're expecting. That doesn't help you get anywhere. <laughs> so I go in, I start to pay for it, and then they scan it and they go, uh, this card's stolen. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, well, it doesn't. It's not registered that anyone uh, actually put money on this, so this card's stolen. And I'm like, okay. And unfortunately, I didn't bring the receipt with me at the time because my friend did give me the receipt to it, so I know he paid for it. There was a receipt. And so I, I told him like, well, this was a gift. Like I didn't pick this card up and they're just like yeah that's what we always heard and I'm just like so are you accusing me of stealing well not indirectly but kind of and I'm like okay well I can still pay for the game normally right and they're like well I mean are you gonna try to use that gift card again well I, I would like to use it because as far as I'm aware it was for 50 bucks and I was going to use it on this game and then pay the rest with my own cash Long story short, they got their manager involved, their manager was also extremely pissy about it, and I just went, you know, it's fine. We don't need to use the card. That's fine. I'll just pay full money. And then they basically said, you're going to pay in cash, right? And I was like, I mean, I, I can. Can I just use my credit? Well, I mean, since you did this, we don't really trust you with your credit card. And I was like, what the hell are you talking? Like, I didn't say that out loud at that point, but I was just like... Well, I got $60 in physical cash on me. I'll, I'll use that. And I was just like... And they were like, Oh, sorry for the... But as, as apologies for the trouble, we'll give you two posters. And I was like... Cool? <laughs> that... That doesn't omit the fact that you literally called me a thief, doubted my friend, who I know actually paid for it, and just have a scummy system in general. So I know... I hate GameStop. GameStop is a terrible, terrible company. The only time I ever order from something from them at this point is if I can literally get it nowhere else. And I always get mad when that happens. But I can only get it nowhere else because other stores aren't carrying stuff physically anymore. Because we just live in a day and age of complete idiots. Of people thinking, oh, no one needs physical media anymore. The streaming wars are going to implode soon, I'm pretty dang sure. They're not making money back on those streaming services. So this is all extremely short-sighted. Just businesses in general, just... Ugh. 
And I know that because I work for a company and I know some of the heads there are not very smart. They'll say they're smart and they'll make decisions that seem rational, these companies, but they're not forward thinking. They are very now thinking and that's not the kind of leadership you need. You need leadership to be very forward thinking. They can't just all be about what's the most recent fad. And uh, that's what's going to tank a lot of these companies, unfortunately. And that's going to suck. Because then we'll lead into more companies with monopolies, and that's not good! Anyways, point is, I don't buy anything from GameStop. I'm not super big on Walmart. I just don't like Walmart. Just, just me, I guess, on that. Oh, free star fragment? Cool, thanks. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm diving too fast. Ga game said I was diving too fast. Had, had to pause to buffer. So otherwise I'll do stuff for Target. But Target's even more of a... Especially because Target's not electronics focused specifically. So them having stock of things is usually rarer than other places. So the default place I go to pre-order stuff is Best Buy. Because they're an electronics store. So I would hope that they would have stock of things. But then I asked for a pre-order and like, cool, you want the bonus thing first. No, I don't. Didn't really want the bonus thing at all. I just want the thing I ordered. <laughs> I think Mario Party Jamboree is going to come with a tote bag and I'm just like, I don't. This is cool. I can probably pawn this off somewhere if people are interested, but it's not anything I really need. I just just want the game. And yeah, I could buy it digitally, but I just, I, I want physical games, man. Like, I get enough digital games on Steam as it is. If I have a console, I want to get them physically. So, <laughs> reasons why I probably also won't get a PS5, because they seem very hellbent on making sure that they only do digital games for that platform, for whatever reason. Or at the very least, they're going to make you pay a premium to do physical, which is... Bleh. Oh, uh, you should probably go beat the boss first. <laughs> I mean, it's just a Flex Construct 3, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Oh, oh yeah, put, put it on Master Sword, yeah! That said, I do read a lot of manga digitally, so I should probably work on picking up manga physically at some point. I know I've mentioned that in the past. But manga books take up more space than a game case. Very weak reasoning there, actually. <laughs> Maybe one day. I, I, I actually, I now read, so like, the more positive news now is I now read at least four weekly series. They're all in Jump, so I'm not really diversifying which manga magazines I'm reading from, but I have a subscription to Jump, so I might as well use it. Uh, obviously, there's One Piece. Uh, Witch Watch is really good. I, the author's previous work that I know of was Sket Dance, and I really liked that one. And Witch Watch is basically Sket Dance, but with supernatural powers, and I like that a lot. It's very silly, very fun, and has its good serious moments. Kaguru Bachi... Kaguru... Kagura... Kagura... Kagura Bachi is a fairly new series, but it is really dang good. And I caught up this week on all of Dan Da Dan because I got really into that series after reading a few recent chapters and was just like, you know what, I'll read this whole thing. <laughs> and I did, and I'm very excited about that. And that's getting an anime soon, or actually I think by the time this log comes out that anime will have premiered. Possibly. So yeah, check that out. I think Witch Watch is getting an anime. I don't. I think they announced they're getting one, but I don't think there's any details on that yet. So that'll probably be next year. And Kaguru Bachi, Ka, Kaguru, I keep saying Kaguru, Kagura Bachi is still fairly new. That's probably not going to 
get an anime adaptation soonish, but I think it's definitely being looked at for one because it's it's sort of popularity a lot. Like I think in the most I, I forget what it was, but I in one of the jump series character polls that was for a completely different series, a Kagura Bachi character came at like got like a few votes, even though <laughs> even though they weren't part of that series, because that's how much people are, are enjoying Kagura Bachi, which I think is hilarious. Anyways, we just got the evil spirit mask. Look at this. Disguise. Bone weapon proficiency. Does this mean we get Gyana insurance? I mean, it looks cool, but it's kind of creepy, so I don't want to wear it. Also, why am I... Oh, right, because technically this is right above the Gerudo Desert, and it would probably be hot outside right now. Unless it's the middle of night, which I just saw the clock before it warped, and it is. So we're going to be switching to the winter gear very soon. <laughs> I know the log where I brought up manga stuff hasn't aired yet on my channel, but... I am still curious, like, if there's other manga series out there, it doesn't have to be specifically manga, it could be uh, a webcomic, or it could be, uh, shoot, what is it? What are the Korean and Chinese comics called? Like, they're, they're manga in style, but they're not actually, like, called that, because they have a specific word, because... <laughs> Spoilers for everyone! Manga is just the Japanese word for comic. Literally saying American comics is very silly because Justice League, Batman, Iron Man, Hulk, those are all technically manga. They're just not from Japan. <laughs> They're still comic books. Oh my gosh, really, Iga? Go away. I don't, I don't need a deal with you right now. I don't, I don't... Just go away. Master Sword's running low on energy already? But... And yes, it is pronounced manga. I know a lot of people say manga, and I get it. But it's not like this is a word we made up just for Japanese comics. It is literally, this is a Japanese word that we're using that means comics. That's why I say manga. But yeah, I, I am curious, because I, I definitely... Uh, Manwa. Manwa was one of them. I think that's the Korean comic. That might be the Chinese one. I don't recall specifically, so my apologies there. What, what are we making? Eh? Okay. Okay, pass me. We're going to clearly do the race right now, but I don't know how we're going to do it. I, wait, how would that... But you need the sled to be on the sand. Eh? That's not gonna... Okay. Sure, pass me. This This is... You need to test it out before you, before you go? Or, like, yeah, like, you... The, the That fan is right in the middle of the sled, so the sled's not going to be able to be a sled. It's going to be this thing that has this... Okay, you can do your senses at least. Oh, no. No, you didn't. It's just, it wasn't centered enough for you. Sure, that was the problem. Not the design of this, or anything. Not the... Okay, okay. Yeah, test it out first. Okay, I guess that wasn't censored enough. Yeah, I like action adventure stories. I like... I do like romance stories. I think they're very cute. Like Romance stories that also have additional elements into them that kind of makes them super interesting. Like, Don the Don. 
doesn't start out as a romance manga, but I would definitely qualify it now as a romance manga. And it uh, is really cute. And I love when characters are cute and stuff, and it's just it's really nice. Because One Piece isn't going to have romance in it, except the romance of adventure, so... I'll get it from other series. I mean, Witch Watch has romance. Don't think Kagurabachi is going to have romance. It'll have bromance, though. Yeah, so I don't... Uh, yeah, pass me that. That was a dumb idea. Okay, so, yeah, just check the slut out. What, <laughs> what if we just cut the middleman? What if we just don't use the sled? What if we just... And then we, uh... That'll work. Nope. So, what I'm doing right now is I don't know if at this point I've looked up the quote-unquote best build of the game, which is literally f a two fans and a steering stick. Like, there is a very specific way they want you to build it, and I just went, no, I don't care to do it that way. And I don't know if I am trying to, like, do that here, but with my own design, or if I'm stumbling onto this by accident. Because it could go either way at this point. Uh, I would say I've probably seen it if I'm building it in this specific fashion. So I guess my idea was, oh, I'll just do it, but I'll put the sled on there. That'll help. Oh, oh, no, it, it goes too high too fast. <laughs> Why didn't she... Okay. I don't know if that's going to work. At least for this, maybe it's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, that's not how it was done in the thing, but... It'll work for me, probably. Uh, may, may, no, 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 it went, went too high again. See, the problem is there's only upward, vertically propulsion. There's no propulsion that goes horizontally. So we need to figure that out. All right, pass me. What, what's the plan? Because I believe I do end up building a vehicle that I use for the rest of the logs, but it's not the one that everyone was saying, hey, make this. I guess I can make that. <laughs> the one with the Korok on it! <laughs> Gotta use that Zonite to make a fake Korok. Nah, we don't we don't need to do that. Or maybe we will. Just only for the platform and the fake Korok. Yeah, that fake Korok's really integral to this design. <laughs> oh shoot, I just realized something I could do. But that's for me, for later. I was like, I'll save it without the cork on it, but whatever. All right, here we go. Okay, now it's getting too hot out. <laughs> Get back on that shirt. That isn't a shirt. So, like, this one, th this vehicle already kind of steers a little bit to the right, I think, based on how it's tilting, but it's fine, and it gets the job done. And it keeps me at a pretty even level, and I can push it down fairly quickly in case we go too high altitude-wise. It's not fast. It's the only major downside, but... It's getting the job done. 
And this is the kind of vehicle that they were like showing in all the trailers, like make this thing. So I was like, well, I'll do what the trailers said. Actually, my. Well, I guess it's tilting a little bit to the right, but it's steering a bit to the left. And that's all due to how the fans are placed on the panel there. Yeah, I know there's a Google Frog nearby. Not important right now. What's important is we go through this gate. We need to beat a time of 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So, already more than halfway there. Uh, <laughs> just gonna, like, le I, I think I was, like, literally leaning in my chair trying to make sh trying to push this down so it could go into that. It's not gonna make it. Oh, oh, okay. We're just gonna abandon it. Okay, that's fine. We can't use Tulin, so... Just gonna hoof the last two? That seems extremely reckless and stupid, but... You do you! Oh, just, just, well... Make it again! Fake Korok and all! Actually, no, maybe it's all you need right now is the... Bat. Yeah. Okay, can you do the rest of this in less than 40 seconds? Because this is significantly faster, at least it appears to be, than the hovercraft you're using. Alright, that's the final gate for, well, not the final final gate, but you know, the final gate we need to pass through in order to reach the goal. And I think we're gonna make it! Alright! Not looking forward when I go back to try to 100% Sandland and do all those races, because those races are extremely strict on their timing. Cool, I did it. Do I get a fun prize? Gerudo fabric, cool. So now we have fabric from the Gorons and the Gerudo. I think we have one from the Zoras as well? But I don't recall if we picked that up yet or not. I know there is one. There's no Rito fabric for some reason. Don't understand why, but... Guess this when the Rito have too many good things already, and I'm like, no, they they could have more. I love the Rito. <sighs> All right, bye. Have a nice day. We're gonna finally go check out those sand dune dunes. Is it? Is it? Are those dunes? I mean, they're holes, but are they dunes? I feel like I should know this. There's a Jeopardy question about today. I was watching Jeopardy. I have my phone on me, so that means I can look things up. Look for dunes. I don't. No, I don't care about. Don't care about the movie Dune. It's a landform composed of wind or water-driven sand, typically takes the form of a mountain ridge or a hill. So, in a way, they're, they, they're kind of dunes, but they're not because they collapse it on themselves. I wouldn't say they're completely a dune. You know, that's how you describe dunes and everything. Yeah, so th this is more of a I guess it's more quicksand. Just it's it's going fast and it's sand. Ta-da, quicksand. <gasps> Whoa. Graphics card was definitely not happy about going that that long today. I mean, it's only been it's only been thirty-four minutes in the log, so don't know why it got so upset about that. I guess all the particles of the sand coming down was just like, hey man, why? I was like, mm, why not? It's sand. You got diamond out of that? That's pretty good. Hey, you know, we'll br break this one down too, please. 
Alright. Okay. Uh bombs. There we go. And oh, I thought you were the booble. Go away. No, get in the water. Yeah, get in the water and drown. <laughs> you guys picked a weird spot to Oh no! The one weakness that will instantly destroy me. I'm gonna set up base camp around here. No one will ever get me off the ceiling. I thought he was the booble. He wasn't so... Oh, there's more dudes. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. Get, get, get off the ceiling, please. Yeah, just... No. Off the ceiling. You. Also off the ceiling. Oh, you land on the platform, though. Dang it. Okay, well, now you're dead. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be back. Insurance and all that. Okay. The treasure chest didn't open, though, so where is your friend? So... Up here? Oh, yeah, they're up here. Hey, buddy. Ow! That wasn't nice. I was gonna give you a gift. The gift was death, but besides that... It was still a gift. Doop doop do. Just just uh, go off the edge. Bye. No. All oh, right, gotta. It's gotta show the cutscene. I should have gone over there and just like try to open it before the cutscene happens. Uh, I don't know if that's even okay. Well, we're getting rid of this axe. All right, booble. There's Booble. How's it going? Thank you for the gem. Have a nice wherever the Booble frogs go in the life and times of the Booble frogs, I guess. Yeah, well, there's a shrine we haven't done yet. Might be a good idea to try to do that shrine. Because we only have 11 shrines left. I'm trying to remember, I don't think we get all the shrines done before... Well... Put a pin in that, I don't recall actually. But I feel like if I got all the light roots, which we have at this point, I definitely got all the shrines. I just don't remember when that happens. And which ones I'm missing. What are you guys still doing here? Your boss is... orbiting the moon, I guess. Go... go there. Don't bother me. You guys wouldn't like it if I just ran up to you and started bothering you. Not that I haven't done that already, you know, that one time when I was sneaking around your base and I was like, I'm a Yiga, and then I all of a sudden just went, ha 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 ha, guess what, I'm not, but then he all kicked me out of the base anyways, and then I had to fight you guys by the big giant chasm that Master Koga fell into back in Breath of the Wild, and you gave me a tail! You freaking electro li electric Lizolfos are very generous of your tails, which I'm appreciative of, Tell your fire and ice brethren to do the same. Another Yiga? Mulduga, eat that guy. Just, 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 just eat the Yiga. We, we've defeated this Mulduga, which is why we have the star there now. So I don't really feel like fighting it. Mulduga doesn't really have a lot of uh, monster parts that I want to go for anyways. 
At least not at this current juncture. Which is sad, because Mulduga fights are very cool. I do like fighting the Mulduga, but... Not today. Okay, so is the shrine... down here? Must be. Got level one point, uh, well, I guess, yeah, 1.5, the underground, but not the depths. Just, oh, it's here! We've been here before! But I was really terrible at being here last time, so let's see if I can do it better. Go away. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, but this probably isn't the way to go, is it? Wait, we, wait, we ascend here? I don't know about that, Chief. Uh, yeah, I don't think that helps with anything, if I'm being quite honest. Okay, well, let's make another pin. Okay, so we've been in there, we've gotten the bullfrog there, so it must be a different sinkhole. There we sinkhole. That's the that's the term that we need to go into. And I'm purposely avoiding going by the blue pin so that way I don't accidentally deactivate it. And then I did anyways. So never mind that. <laughs> now what about this sinkhole? Anything fun and exciting? Luminous Stone? Ancient Prison Ruins. Okay. Looks cool. Oh, hey, this is a game doll. Ah, and then it's dead. Right, I could just hit it with the sword I'm using right now. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm going to use Unobo and other characters first. Oh, uh, that, went, that went down a little bit. I don't know why that happened, so hopefully that's okay. Oh, hey, look! Another Gibdo! Yeah, they're really trying to do that Earth Temple thing from Wind Waker. The Gibdos don't give out the blood curdling scream, though, so it's not as scary. It's just like, oh, I guess you're here. Now, if it was that dang tree enemy, I'd probably get a little jump scared. <laughs> that tree enemy always jump scares me. Ta da! They're just like, eh, put something next to the Gibdo that will actually, like, stun them. It's fine. Are you going to find Booble over... Oh, no, no, oh, oh! Oh, yeah, there it is! No, stay, stay, boop, Booble. Boop, boop, Booble. Okay, give me a second, Booble. Oh, I already caught the booble. I went to go sneeze and then edit that out. And then we already have the booble. Oh, we're fo we just fo follow the, the swords of the... Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but I don't know why I wasn't just doing that in the first place. I mean, that does look cooler, and it was a one-hit kill. And I didn't waste any weapon durability out of my melee weapon. But it did out of my bow. But that's okay. I have plenty of bows to go through. 
Yeah, I think we already did that one. But the sword lady said to go this way. Unless we go behind her? Well, that's where the woo frog was, so I don't, I don't think that's where we're going? Or is it? There's the shrine. Oh, am I gonna cheese this? Am I gonna cheese this? Can I cheese this? There's a little, there's a little opening right there. So... Let's see, yeah! Don't actually know what this accomplished, but... <laughs> Go to the scimitar! Yeah, we don't really need that right now, but that was that was cool to get! Ah. There we go. And then we'll just, uh... Undo that. Ta-da! We have found... Another shrine. The... Cheecham... Shrine. Cheecham. Like the teach them shrine. So, what are we gonna learn? Gonna learn anything fun today, or are we gonna learn that this was a reward shrine? Based on how much time is left in the log, reward shrine. Oh well. I do feel like it, like, at least from how I played the game, it does look like there's way more reward shrines, but I really feel that there wasn't, there weren't as many as there were in Breath of the Wild. I just, again, feel like I happened to come across the more interesting shrines way earlier in the game, comparatively to the reward ones. And yeah, in this particular case, for what we did get here, I mean... If I didn't know about the connection between the light roots and the shrines, this actually would have been kind of a needle in a haystack. So I think a reward shrine for this is a valid one, because otherwise it is just kind of randomly guessing to go into one of these uh, sinkholes and be like, hey, is there a shrine down here? Because obviously you have the shrine radar, but that can only help you out so much. So I think in that case, it's definitely, I'd say that one was okay. Especially considering that we're very far in the game, and I had to use other context clues to help find them. So it's not like it was, it's not like it was just like, oh, that was way too easy. It, it, I had to use other contexts in order to figure it out. Yeah, we only have 10 shrines left to do, and it looks like I have at least two on the map that I found but haven't done. So there should only be eight more shrines left to discover. And I think we've seen at least two or three on the map that I haven't discovered yet. And the nearest one is at Kakariko, so might as well head there. Two hundred Korok seeds. I wonder if we'll get any more, or if that'll just be it. No more yahahas. You've had your last ya. Or will be your you've yad your last ha. I don't know. Anyways, at the Makasuda Shrine, what quests do we still have to do? Oh, we could go turn that Molduga thing. Terrytown race, uh, War of the Wells, Battle Cry for Help, Trip Through History. I think we can finish a Trip Through History if we haven't finished that one already. I thought we did. But right now, before I forget, I wish probably end the log here. A crisis Hyrule Castle. Oh, yeah, definitely a crisis. We'll go there soon, probably. <laughs> if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Don't have you don't want to, but it's always appreciated. If you like what you see as far as the game goes, Tears of the Kingdom Zero Nintendo Switch, hopefully playable on the Switch's successor. Additionally, uh, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is out now, so pick it up if that interests you. 
But most importantly, I wish all of you to have a wonderfully great day. I will see you all on the next one for whatever may come. So until then, ciao.